Hey folks, it's James, and on day two of this series, I'm going to show you how Procreate helps you overcome one of the greatest fears of both casual sketchers and even professional renderers, and that is the fear of not capturing the proper perspective in your sketches and renderings. So download the original Procreate files I made for this video at the link in the description below. Open them up on your iPad to follow along and study the layers and get ready to learn how to combine the underpainting we did in part one of this series with Procreate's Perspective Drawing Assist tool to become an instant expert in perspective or at least to get a really good head start. My friends who teach urban sketching tell me the number one problem aspiring urban sketchers have is understanding perspective and getting it right in their sketch. But Procreate has a feature called Perspective Drawing Assist that can make it much easier to figure out the proper perspective of any scene. The process starts with stepping back, squinting your eyes to look at the underpainting, then adding a layer and lightly tracing the perspective lines that begin to emerge from what I will continue to call the Rorschach ink blot of your underpainting. Now you can add a layer and use the technique of drawing a freehand line holding down the tip of your pencil until that line snaps straight and rotating the end of that line until it lines up with one of the parallel lines suggested by the ink blot. Then draw more lines the same way until enough of them begin to cross in the same area. Then mark that approximate point to be used as both your vanishing point and your horizon line. And the horizon, for those who don't know yet, is the same as the eye level of the artist. And the point from which you will subsequently estimate the scale and proportions of everything else in your sketch. You can now tap the wrench menu, tap canvas, toggle on Drawing Assist, tap Edit, tap Perspective, then tap once over your vanishing point, and you have set up the groundwork for sketching the rest of your composition in perspective. Now go to your Layers menu, slide back the opacity of your previous guideline layer if you wish, add a new layer, and continue to use either the underpainting brush, or a pencil, or a pen brush, to flesh out the next biggest details in your sketch, using more of what I call the placeholder smudges to represent people, trees, building details, what have you. And keep an eye at all times on the relationship of these details and those people to the horizon line and the underlying perspective grid. So the new layer of freehand details stays in perspective and begins to be more accurate in terms of scale and proportion. With this last phase of underpainting complete, let's move on to see how Procreate can help you overcome the next most common fear felt by urban sketchers, the fear of drawing details. We've already talked about how underpainting with Procreate's textured brushes can generate happy accidents and random textures that help you compose your sketch. But these same happy accidents can help you compose the details of your sketch more accurately, even if you've convinced yourself you don't draw well. To add this next layer of detail, I like to go into the Layers menu and add what I call a layer of trace. That's a new layer with a color white just dragged and dropped on top of it. Then I go into the Layers menu one more time and dial back the opacity of that layer of white. Then I add a new layer on top of that, which will be the layer for my first bit of sketching. Pick the color I want to sketch with. Pick a favorite pencil, in this case the Narinder pencil. Test the size of the pencil and the opacity. And then I look for a good place to start. Whatever's comfortable, whatever makes my hand comfortable resting on the screen. And I'll just start sketching these details in my usual way, always with an eye toward the perspective grid that's there lightly underneath. Now, I could have just as easily activated Drawing Assist in that new layer and started literally drafting my final sketch. And I often do this when my aesthetic of urban sketching is not an issue, and I'm just trying to make a record of a building I'm studying in the field for its proportions, say, or the arrangement of windows, the composition of that building. But for most artists, this is your chance to give your sketch that hand-drawn aesthetic that you have most likely already developed over a number of years. Because I no longer enjoy holding my breath as I try to trace long, perfect lines, I've developed what you see here, what I call the scratchy line technique, 
where I create longer lines out of many smaller scratches that I still think look good, but that make it easier to find a comfortable position for the heel of my hand as I work my way around the iPad screen, something that becomes even more important when you're standing in the middle of an urban plaza. If you have previous art training and or lots of urban sketching experience, great. But for those of you who are just starting out, consider doing what I did when I first started and visit every second-hand bookstore you can find. Buy used copies of every classic book on the subject of pencil, pen and ink, or watercolor rendering. These books will teach you amazing techniques for drawing details in the most economical way, using as few lines as possible to suggest the textures and the light that make or break a sketch. Just remember that I wouldn't be able to spend so much time enjoying this drawing phase were it not for the speed of the Procreate underpainting process that got me here so quickly. To go deeper on any of the things you learn in this video, be sure to check out the links in the description below. To see part one of this series about underpainting, click on the image you see here, and I'll see you in the next lesson.